Okay, now we are going to continue to measure, uh, give the measurement for all of those uh, dimensions that we already created. Okay, so this one is the, is called the Fernier caliper. So this one basically we can measure like, like if I give an example, so if I want to measure the width of this part, okay, like so. So they were indicate here. So this one, uh, basically one stripe is a uh, one millimeter, and then because this one is showing seven stripes, so this one is seven millimeter, and then plus this one is the decimal point. So uh, zero point one is a ten stripe. Okay. So right now it indicate is thirty five. Okay, thirty five. So. Uh, the width is will be 7.35 okay or 7.35 okay like so okay so but in this case i will going to uh, use the round number because it's just easier for us to capture this all of those two dimension but except in the uh, functional di dimension which is have the asterisk part so from the beginning you need to consider the which one is the functional dimension and then how many how much the tolerance that you are going to uh, put in the functional part. so okay so right now i'm going to measure the first thing first is the aesthetic point because this one is the functional okay so i will measure here Okay, so this one is the basic, it's just uh, six, yeah, six millimeter, okay, at the zero. Okay, so this one is a six millimeter. So I'll put this one is a six. Okay, and then here, I will put the dimension here. So this one is a uh, thirteen, twelve, twelve point five. Okay, twelve point five here. As you can see, twelve point five. Okay, but since this one is the in the center, okay, and then this one from the outside, so we need to consider to minus twelve point five minus the radius of this uh, circle here. So the radius of the circle would be uh, five, 4.7. Okay. Yeah, this one is 4.7. Seven, so uh, 2.25. Okay, so if I, if I give the dimension here to the outer, so outer is 12.5 and then the cylinder will be 6 uh, sorry the cylinder will be 4.7 okay, 4.7 sorry this one is 4.7 okay and then the width here is 1.5 1.5 and then the height would be uh, 6.3 okay the height would be 6.3 okay so we are going to continue to the calculation later on okay okay right now uh, okay so this one need to measure so we also can do this uh, method which is we can measure from this edge to this edge so you can do such uh, measurements like such this this method like put it over there and then you just go put over here okay so like so so this one is indicate uh, 
15, 17, okay, 17. Yeah, let's say 7. Okay, so the shorter one is a 17. Okay, and then the longer one would be uh, 21.1. Okay, 21.1. Okay, so we finish for the main dimension, the functional dimension. So we are going to continue with the rest of this dimension. Okay, twenty-six point three. Okay, so this one is twenty-six point three, and then this one is a. Uh, Fourteen, okay, fourteen, thirteen, thirteen point six, thirteen point six, okay, and then uh, here, so we need to consider here, okay, so I'm going to measure this one, and do the measurement here. Okay, 17. So this one is 17. And then this one will be... Twenty. Yeah. Let make it round at 20. This one is 20.2. Okay. So 20.2. And then... This one would be twelve point five. Okay, twelve point five. The diameter and then the cable would be seven. Okay. Yeah, seven millimeter. Okay, this one is seven. And then okay, from the top view is enough enough. And then now from the side view. So we need to measure the height for our height, 25.2, okay, so this one is 25.2, and then this one will be 14, 14, and then, uh, okay, 14. Okay, so here 13, 14, yeah, I think. Okay, so now here, this distance, okay. So this distance will be, yeah, roughly is about 11, okay, let's say 11. So 11, and then from the distance here, okay, I measure from here, okay. So will be twenty two point three. So I'll make a slightly correction of the my dimension here because I refer to this following uh, edge here. Okay. So this one will be like so. Okay, like so, uh, let me measure it again. Okay, like so. Yeah, twenty-two point five. Okay, twenty-two point five. Okay, and then the small one will be twenty-three point five. Wait. Yeah, I think. 24. Yeah, let's say we create uh, 24. I think 24. 24 to here. Okay, so like, like this one. Okay, so I'm using this datum for this line for the uh, datum 24. Okay. 
and then the rest will be uh, here okay so like so so this one is uh, 34 okay 34 so it's not enough space probably I will create here 34 yeah here 34 okay 34 okay and then uh, yeah I think the shape is uh, parallel here and this one is enough so this one is not necessary so we can we already have this dimension and this dimension so we can calculate later on and then the overall length okay this is the overall length uh, let me measure like so like this one uh, I think oh 50 okay so it's a 50 overall uh, dimension is a 50 so probably I will create this one more because this one is the datum okay uh, 50 okay so the overall line is the 50 okay and then yeah I think this one is already we can uh, have the additional uh, dimension okay so now we are going to measure this uh, groovy here okay so the overall line from here to here okay so wait okay so from here to here we need to measure like this probably I will going to use this feature oh, wait let me use this one this is more accurate let me measure uh, yeah maybe because this one is a rape rubber so we need to consider the uh, bigger tolerance okay so okay like this one yeah okay so 16.5 so this one 16.5 and then for the uh, grouping itself, for the individual, uh, so 22.5. Okay, so this one, uh, let, let me. Okay, so this one is uh, 2.5. So we just consider that this is of individual is the same uh, for simplicity. Okay, so this one three is the same and then for the groove itself is two millimeter. Okay, so the groove itself two millimeter. So this one is two, two point five, two, two point five, two, two point five. Okay, and then the rest will be adjustable through this overall line here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a finish uh, oh yeah one more thing this one probably we need to consider the uh, dimension which is this particular uh, here okay so I'm going to measure how much is it one 1.7 okay so this one is 1.7 okay yeah I think all is almost done except this diameter here so we need to measure the diameter okay three millimeter just three millimeter and then uh, the distance from here to the tangent area here okay uh, from here to here is uh, four millimeter okay this one is four millimeter okay yeah hopefully all the dimension is already uh, finished okay 
hopefully all the dimensions is not in place okay so for the embossing because this one is just for the appearance so we are going to create it later on in the cap so we don't need to measure uh, this one okay as well as this uh, shape okay oh one more thing this this steps we haven't measure it okay one more thing mm. this dimension here okay so this one is a 12 okay 12 okay. so it's a 12 yeah da -da -da. one two three okay yeah okay i think all will be already finished and then yeah let's take a picture and then we are going to jump to the CAD system after we finish the sketching so I will scan this one using the uh, scanner and then I'm going to make it digitally uh, and we are going to insert it in, into the fusion okay see you